From social media platforms to multiplayer video games to message boards, and from bots to avatars and fans to hackers, virtual identities and communities is an exploration of who we are online and how we spend our time. But if someone doesn't have a social media account, you know, we wonder, well, well, what's wrong with them or what are they trying to hide? If you have a less than five stars, it's kind of like death. And while there aren't necessarily bots on TikTok, there sure is a lot of human beings acting like bots and doing the kind of repetitive behavior that they hope will get them views or they hope will make them famous. Am I joining playing a game to escape from some kind of reality and I'm trying to formulate my own? Or am I trying to play out and be as close to who I am in the real world inside of the game? In Anonymous, you didn't have those visual markers, right? And so you really didn't know who was on the other side. Well, those of us within fandom don't see ourselves as competitors so that we can be ranked super or, or less, but rather as members of a subculture where we all kind of belong and we belong in different ways. What can we learn from the massive platforms of today and the sprawling internet of yesterday to build the virtual communities that we want tomorrow?